I will get tired, and when I get tired, I will stop. Then they will proceed to kill our leaders that they have in detention and all our children, the young men, the very young boys that they have arrested in their thousands. They will kill them and we will never see them. This is the only plan. Therefore, we must continue to boycott the schools. Beginning each week with more days and two, two, two days observed as those times. We inform you that the diplomatic community is in effervescence on our issue. Therefore, we must not give up until they step in. It is only when they step in that they will know hope that we have been for 56 years. Therefore, we must keep up the struggle. We must not give up. Whenever you feel like giving up, remember how many of our boys have been killed in the course of this struggle. When you feel tired and you want to give up, remember how many of our daughters were raped in Boya, beaten, deformed, maimed, and dragged in heart. When you want to give up, think of the sacrifices done by our lawyers. How they were molested, beaten in their hotel rooms, their wicks and drugs that are sacred, confiscated. When you want to give up, think about the businesses that have been owned. When you want to give up, think about your children that are in the bushes, hiding from your person. When you want to give up, think about the future of our children. Slavery and servitude is their lot. When you want to give up, think. Think. Look to your children and think. And the Lord will give you strength. And the Lord will fortify us. And we shall see the end of this trouble. Remember, the Lord has set an agenda, a timetable for this trouble. And I tell you, our people, by July and August, we will see the fruits of our struggle. If we don't plant, we will not harvest. This is planting season. Plant. And plant abundantly. <laughs>